Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. I am joining you live today at four o'clock on Wednesday Eastern Time, and I wanted to go over the uh, Simple Stampers, Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle. So every month I uh, collaborate with 11 other Stampin' Up! demonstrators, and we create a tutorial bundle based on a suite or a theme or colors or whatever. And um, this month we have our sweet stockings um, suite that we, we used. And this is the card I made. So I'll show you how to make this card and one other card from the bundle. It's so cute. So you'll get, if you place an order on my online store, any amount, I will send you the link to the uh, Google file and you'll get the 12 uh, projects included in the uh, the, t the tutorial for 12 projects. <laughs> um, so this is what it look, looks like and, and we have our creative team and then we just go right into the projects and you'll just, you'll get measurements, a picture, instructions. So there's lots of different projects. I'm going to do mine and then I'm going to do my friend Sandra's. So two different looks, something more kind of rustic and then something more playful. So, I before we go any further though, I just want to tell you also my ordering special for this month is if you place a $50 order on my online store, I'll send you a pack of holiday rhinestones for free. And these are great. They're great colors for any season, but especially Christmas. So that's that. And one more thing I just wanted to mention. Till November 30th, there is a uh, starter kit special. And what that is, is um, if you want to uh, purchase a starter kit, it's normally $99 and you get $125 in product. But until, Jan until November 30th, you only pay $75. So you're getting $50 free. So you pay, you buy uh, $125 worth of product, you pay $75, you get shipping for free, and the best part is you get to join in a wonderful um, community of fellow stampers. I love my team. I love my upline. We do lots of things. There's lots of sharing and we just have fun. We play bingo sometimes. Uh, last night was our creative rally where um, a couple of people demonstrated neat project projects and then we got updates about the company. This week we're having our online convention it's called on stage and we get to sneak peek the new catalog for next year so um the mini catalog for the spring so it's it's a lot of fun and if you were interested just email me patty at pspapercrafts.com and i would love to talk to you about it it's really like um someone told me <laughs> it's comparable to like joining costco or sam's club where you you, you kind of pay up front to join and then you get the discount so uh, you know, once you purchase the starter kit, your next order, you would start saving 20% on it. So if you buy a lot, it's really a wonderful thing to do. So let's get started with the project. We're going to make the two cards. So the first one is this cute dog. He reminds me of, um, we had a golden retriever named Pebbles, and that, that dog reminds me of Pebbles. So let's get the kit out. I have everything already pre-cut. And um, I'll tell you how I made it. This is Cherry Cobbler. And then I fussy cut the dog out of this paper. And I didn't even go over the product. <laughs> Let me show you that. So there's the sweet little stocking stamp set. And you have the stockings and the little cute little um, dog and kitty. And I don't know if that's a gerbil or what, but he's so cute. And the little hat. And there's some really cute uh, sentiments you can use. And then you can bundle it and save 10% and get the dies that go with it. So the dies cut the stockings, the little um, critters here. And uh, there's this great big tag die, which I think is really good. And I haven't even used it, but it's a stitched die, which I think is really cool. Um, there's also matte dots that you can get as part of the suite. And then the paper, I love the paper because um, these, you can actually cut with the dies. So you can take your die, and I did this on the next card, and you can just kind of fussy cut, cut the piece you want and then just cut it out with the die. And there's three sizes, which I really love. 
So anyway, that is the paper. And then I fussy cut this dog from this paper. Very cute. So let me just get started with this. Let's put this away. I don't lose it. I have to use that. I haven't used it yet. Let's put this away. So I also just wanted to tell you when we do these, um, these sweets, this is from the um, mini catalog and it's on page 30 and 31. And this is the suite we're using, but we go right all the way to the next suite. So um, the team of 12 of us can use any of uh, those products, these products, these products, and then it goes to the next suite. So if you see some other, I know one of the ladies did the penguins, which are so cute. So it's kind of includes all of those um, between sweets. So I have my cherry cobbler and then I cut the white using the um, stitch rectangles. Let me just show you them. So I cut that white piece out with this one and I did my cutting beforehand. And then I used the same one to cut the inside of the frame. And then I think I used the largest one for the outside of the frame. So I just ran it through. You can run it through twice and um, cut the outside, then the inside, or you can run it through together. Just make sure you line them up good. So that's how I got that piece and it's already cut out. I didn't want to spend too much time here because we are making two cards. And this was very simple. So I took my uh, season's greetings or Christmas greetings stamp and it's one long stamp and I just will cover half of it and um, stamp it right on this. I'll cover half to get Christmas and then I'll cover half to get the greetings part. So let me get um, a sticky note, a post-it note and I'm going to cover the greetings. So you'll see I just have Christmas and then I'll ink it up in my cherry cobbler. Get it nice and inked up and I'll just stamp it right here. Christmas. And then I also want to clean this to make sure I don't get the Christmas on the greetings part of it. And you can also, if you didn't want to do it this way, and this is a very easy one to do because it's pretty, pretty well separated. But if it was close, you can always color it with a stamp and write marker, um, not a um, stamp and blend. It has to be a stamp and write marker. So now we'll cover the Christmas part. and ink that up. And I'm trying to just get the greetings part. I'm not going over the whole thing. And then you want to make sure you throw this away. Let's put it over on the side there. And then we want to line up greetings right under here. And that's why I cleaned this off. I didn't want Christmas to get over there. So that is that part, very easy. And then we want to just stick him down and I'm gonna use some liquid glue and just cut this. So I fussy cut this, it was very easy. And you'll see I left some white around. I didn't try to go around all of the um, lights don't go crazy when you fussy cut especially if you're doing white on white you're, you know it's not going to really show up and I just you know did the best I could and you just don't want any points so when you're cutting it if you have any little sharp points just um, shape you know shape it up a little bit so we have this very cute and we have our frame and I am going to um, put the frame down and then put him in. And with the frame, I want to use the foam adhesive sheets. I don't know if you have used these or not, but you know, we have our um, dimensionals and it's just nice to have something a little firmer. I hear this truck 
beeping his horn. I have a, um, where I live, there's a new house going up across the street and they just started and boy, is it a mess. <laughs> they have, um, you know, they're clearing all the trees now and it's just, there's trucks, there's mud everywhere. Um, so, and they start very early in the morning. So we're up listening to the trucks and they're cutting down the trees right now. And it's so amazing how they just, they really clear all the trees. I mean, I'm not sure why, but it seems like they clear the entire lot with the trees. So I think I'll do a couple this way. And this, I mean, you can use dimensionals. You don't have to use it this way, but if you have these, they're really wonderful and they just give you more of a firm, um, you know, stable kind of uh, adherence. So I'm actually gonna go down here. I'm gonna try to do it a little bit different because I wanna go kind of to the edges and I may fill in there. We'll see. This just really makes it stable. It's a little wide, but I think it's okay. Yeah. All right, and Let's go down here. And the other thing with these is you have to really make sure you're in the right place before you stick it down because it once it sticks, it's hard to pull it up. So let's see, that will fit in there. And I think I'm gonna cut a couple of little pieces. So we'll just cut this up and you just cut it any size you want. I mean, it's perfect. Just fit it in, cut it. So this will go here. And see, this will be nice and sturdy. That's a little bit too big. And then save your scraps and use them as dimensionals or just, you know, for another project. Sometimes I'll do like on something like this, I'll do maybe four, four squares and just make it a little bit more stable. So let's get this side, this out and we'll just pull off the backings. And I love dimensionals. I mean, I use them all the time. It's just with this frame, I wanted it to really be firm. But isn't that dog so cute with the lights around him? And then the, some, one of the sheets of the paper had the lights, just a solid sheet of lights, and that's what I cut the frame from. So it's so nice to get all the papers that coordinate and you can work things together. I love that. I think that's one of my favorite uh, products with Stamping Up, just feeling this is the designer series paper. I mean, I just love it. A lot of times you can just use that and make your card and you don't really need to add much more. So let's get this on straight. There we go. And then I'll just put this on with glue and I'll just fit it right in there. Pretty easy card, as I said, but I think it's fun. Uh, send it to a dog lover, season's greetings. And you could put whatever sentiment you want in there. And that fits right in there perfectly. And with the dimension, it, you know, it looks like it's a frame. So I like it. Now on the inside, I did the uh, Peace, Kisses, and Joy. So that's another stamp in this set. So let's just put the cap on here and I'll do that. And then I stamped a couple of presents and colored them with stamping blends. So let's just get this in. Not showing up on my computer yet. It's kind of weird. So I don't know if anybody's there and if there's any comments or anything because I am not. Usually it pops up. I don't know. <laughs> Let me just go into my live and see if it's there. I hope I'm playing. It says I'm live on here. I keep saying that and I don't understand. <laughs> I'm pretty good with technology, but uh, this YouTube Live, it seems like all of a sudden it'll pop in out of the, out of the blue here. All right, well, we're going with it. So let's put all of this mess away. And I want to just get my Memento ink and I'm going to stamp two of the presents. So we'll just ink this up and stamp it down here. And I'm using the Memento because I'm um, 
going to color with the stamping blends. And it just is a better, better way to do it. And there is black in the light, so I thought that was okay. And then I'm going to use um, some light cherry cobbler to do the bows. And I'm using the skinny end. So let's just color the ribbon and the bows. I love how these color, they're so smooth. So if you have a dog, let me know your dog's name and what kind of dog you have. Right now I have a Boston Terrier named Bailey. When I had Pebbles, the one that this dog reminds me of, um, I also had a second dog named Bandit. So it was kind of like, you know, not Bam Bam and Pebbles, but Bandit and Pebbles. And I think he was one of my favorite dogs. He was the first dog I got when I got married and we got him at the pound. Before we called him rescue dogs, we got dogs at the pound and he was a little tiny, tiny thing and he grew into a huge, huge dog. Um, and we were in a little apartment and we didn't know what he was, but he was brindle colored. And um, I think that's uh, Boxer, Great Dane. So we really don't know what he was, but he was a big dog and he was great. He was. A mellow, sweet, sweet dog. So let's see. I want to go up here. <laughs> I'm getting confused as to where the lines are. There we go. So I love the color of the pool party on this. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm using light pool party now. And then I'm going to also color with dark pool party. And I think I'm going to have to make these uh, videos a little earlier because I see it's getting dark already. I'm hoping it shows up nice online. Because I've got another card to make. So we'll finish coloring this quick and then we'll move on to the other card. So that, and then I used um, light old olive. So I took colors from the paper and from the suite and decided to use them. So um, again, if you place an order on my online store, I will send you the PDF with 12 projects featuring the um, Sweet Stockings Suite. And if you don't want to place an order, like if you're a demonstrator, um, you can purchase it on my blog as well. If you go to PSPaperCrafts.com and at the top you go to the tutorials. I don't have it loaded yet, but I will later today or early tomorrow. It just got loaded, just uh, was finalized. So every month I, you know, 12 of us get together and create this tutorial for you guys. So here we go. And I'm just going to put it down with a little bit of liquid glue. So we'll just put some liquid glue on here. I don't have my stamp and seal handy. And we'll go right in here and we'll have the first card done. So simple, and I think um, it's just adorable. I just love him with the lights. So the second card, I don't have the example, and we're going to make it a little bit different. So this is Sandra's, and she used the um, In Good Taste paper. So I have this cut out as well, and I love it because it's more of a rustic look. I mean, this is all cutesy and everything, but there's so much you can do with it. So we have the In Good Taste, and this piece I embossed with the timber embossing paper. So I've already done a lot of the work, um, just so that it doesn't take <laughs> too long on here. So this is the embossing folder, it's a wood grain. So the wood grain on the wood grain <laughs> is really cool. And then we have the brick, so it almost looks like a mantle. So you've got this brick background, like a fireplace and the mantle. And then I already cut these. So these, I use the, um, the dies from here. And I kind of found that the middle size, I'm trying to pull them out here. Oh, this is, I think it's stuck. There we go. There's some tape on here to tape the dies in. So the, there's, 
three sets of dies for um, the stockings and they cut the paper like I said so there's three different size stockings here so you can cut them out I found the middle size was the best size for this now Sandra did it a little bit different let me get her card here it is um, so she used designer series paper and then she cut the top and the bottom she didn't use this so she used she just used regular um, I think designer series paper and she cut these um, using these dies so there's the the toe and the heel I haven't used these yet and they're all stitched so they're really cute boy that's really stuck so you would have the toe and then the heel and then there's this piece across the top that would go here. So I decided I was just going to use stockings that were already there and I've already cut them out. So I have them and we've got a piece of cherry cobbler. So we really just need to put this together and use the, um, the Christmas greetings. It's the same sentiment. And I cut this out from the seasonal dies, seasonal label dies. So these are really great. I love them. I love any kind of label die and I use them for lots of projects. So I don't, um, I, I just, every time they have dies with lots of labels, I seem to buy them more punches. It's just nice to have the right size for whatever your, whatever project and sentiment you're using. So let's just put this down. That's the first thing. And then we just put our card together. So let's do this. We'll put this down first. Still waiting for me to pop up online. I'm not seeing it. So if you're leaving comments, I will respond to them later because I am not able to see anything. Not sure. It seems like everything changes all the time with technology. It works one day one way and it works a different day another day. So we'll just put this down. A very very slight border and you can probably see it on here better so it's all it's just like an eighth of an inch off and then we want to put this down and I love the back of this so these papers are wonderful it's a huge pack it's called in good taste and there's just all these um, wood grains and tile and um, brick and all different things and they're great backgrounds and I thought this was a perfect idea. So we're going to put these down flat um, because we want to put the, the matte dots on. So they look cute. So I'm going to just put these on with glue and we'll pop up the sentiment and then we'll have them hanging by the chimney <laughs> and We'll put some dots on that makes them look like maybe some kind of thumbtack or something like that. Cute. And I like this pattern with the, um, it's kind of the pool party, I think, at the top. It's just a very light, it almost looks like it's um, felt or cotton or something. Like the real thing. Okay, and then we want to put this up here and we'll use dimensionals for this. Let's see, I have some right here. And I think I'll do four, which is just what I have, although I could cut this right up and use the end. And then we'll just put on the, um, the matte dots. All right, I have a little glue on my fingers as per the usual. We'll put this right up here. And put the cap on and let's see. So we need the matte dots. So I'm going to put, let me just see what she did. I liked what she did. So she has the red ones and then she has the um, evening evergreen. So let's get my little tool out. I take your pick tool and these um, 
go from dark to light. So kind of like an ombre look. Um, let's see what size I want. No, I'm going to put, yeah, no, I'm going to put these here. I want that size. I think I might go with the bigger one. So I want to make sure they're kind of the same color. I don't want to do a light and a dark. So we'll do the bigger ones up here. And we'll do this one. So it's it's like everything has got a, a thumbtack or some kind of a thing holding it up. And then we want to use the, I think I'll use the smaller ones for these stockings. Hmm. Let's see what the bigger one looks like. I'm trying to decide. No, I like the smaller one. So we'll have the three stockings hanging. It would be cute if you could um, get little names on them if you made this for someone. Oh, and then we should put the card on the card base, right? That would be a good idea. So we'll do that. There we go. I love cherry cobbler and um, crumb cake. Those are such good Christmas colors. Isn't that nice? I love it. So two completely different looking cards. I mean, um, you know, you've got the one card that's cutesy and the other card that's um, got the stockings and it's more rustic. So uh, for the inside, I am going to, let's see. I don't think I did anything for the inside of this one. So let's, I think we could do a stocking. Let me see. We could do a stocking with the dog in it. Hmm. Let me see. Um, let's do the smaller stocking. Try to decide as we go here. And so it's going to go this way. So maybe right up here. Okay, let me get a block. We'll figure it out as we go. The other one I had made already, so <laughs> this one is, uh, we're winging it. It's a little bit tiny to block. So let's do, I'm thinking if there's something with stockings. Santa Paws is coming to town. I'm not going to do a, a um, I think I'll do sending lots of love. So let's just have this hanging right from up here. And we will do sending lots of love in, or maybe very merry. I'll do very merry. How's that sound? Let's see. Have to find it. Here we go. And let me just take one of these presents off the block. And we'll do very merry. And we'll do that in cherry cobbler. So let's open this up. I feel like this is a little bit too far up. So let's just flip it, turn it, get rid of the dimensional, <laughs> and put it out a little bit further. Okay, so that looks good. We'll do very merry, and then we'll just color it quick. And if you want to add more, or add a dog or a cat or whatever, whatever it is, um, you can move it down or you could put it down here. And let's color the stocking. Um, I'm going to do a light pool party to kind of match uh, the, the one on the outside. Let me do this side. And then we're done. So let's just color it quick. When I lived up in New York, I had a fireplace. I had a wood-burning stove. And down here in Florida, I have a fake fireplace. <laughs> but there's no mantle. It's one of those um, 
where you press a remote and it comes on and it's not even a real flame. It's electric. But it's nice. I'll tell you, it gets cold down here sometimes and uh, it just gives it nice atmosphere. It doesn't really do too much with heating. It does, you can put a blower on and it sends a little heat out. But that's what you need in Florida. You don't need much more than that. And then let's do the uh, cherry cobbler. I wonder if the dark will be too dark. Let's try the light and see how that is. And then we could always go over it. But I miss my fireplace and I used to have stockings hung on the mantel. And that was nice. So I think I'm just gonna go around here with the door. The, is this the light or the dark? This is the light, huh, looks dark. I'm gonna stick with this. So let's just go around here. And then we can just color it. And maybe I'll go around that again with the dark to kind of offset it. You're watching me go through the process of figuring it out. Usually I have it figured out before. I'm gonna just do the, the thicker end before I come on. There we go. I'm just gonna do this edge. Red going out is hard to remove. There we go. Okay, and then I think, oof, I will do the edge with the dark. Because there's this little tiny line here. Look at how dark that is, it almost looks black. I'm gonna just go right around here, just to kind of offset it a little bit. Okay, so that is done. We can put this inside, and I think we're done with the card. So let's put this on with some liquid glue. I know I say I don't like to do liquid glue on the inside layer, but I don't have my stamp and seal. I just feel like it's smoother with the stamp and seal. So I do everything else with liquid glue, but the inside layer I just like to do with stamp and seal. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it doesn't matter, whatever adhesive works for you. So these are the cards. I think they're really cute. Um, I love this with the wood grain that Sandra did. Thanks so much for joining and come back next week. All right, take care.